Hi, I'm Liz Moser, a Mayo Clinic and National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach. When I first meet with my clients, we kick off our coaching with a two hour call where we explore three things. Um, what's important to them, what motivates them, or why do they do what they do, two, their strengths, or how do they achieve their definition of success, and lastly, what do they want, want out of coaching? What are their current goals? Um, what do they want more of or less of? To assist them in fleshing out that third piece, what they want out of coaching, I ask my clients to fill out the health and wellness domain satisfaction scale worksheet. With this exercise, my clients rate their satisfaction on a scale of one, totally dissatisfied, to seven, totally satisfied. Um, of several areas of their health and wellness. These areas are overall health, eating habits, sleep, physical fitness, energy level, spirituality, weight, resiliency, support, and body image. If you wanna see a copy of that worksheet, there is a link in the video description below um, to, to the corresponding blog on my coaching website. So in general, my clients see coaching because of one primary goal. Usually their goal revolves um, around their food and typically they are looking to adopt a similar plan to my own. So that's, I eat three meals per day without sugar, flour, or processed foods. However, the domain satisfaction exercise grants them a more comprehensive look at their overall wellness. Um, after our two hour call, I synthesize our conversation and I interpret their wellness vision. So a wellness vision is a powerful statement that describes your most actualized self. It, it defines what you truly desire and how you live when you're at your most aligned with your values and purpose. The vision may include behaviors, actions, strengths, feelings, relationships, or a metaphor or visual image for comparison. My goal with my client's wellness vision is to give them confidence, energy, and authentication in their desired changes. My clients um, read through and sit with my interpretation of their wellness vision, and then usually they, they, they make a few changes. Now and again, I, I hit the ball out of the, out of the park and, and they think it's perfect as is, but usually they want to alter it somehow and, and make it their own. Um, from there, I ask my clients to come up with three goals total that they wanna focus on over the next three months. And then those three goals tend to derive from the domain satisfaction scale. For instance, if a client rates their sleep a two, which is dissatisfied, and, and their energy level a three, slightly dissatisfied, one of their goals might be turning off their computer and phone earlier and subsequently getting into bed earlier. Or if the client rates their physical fitness and resiliency a four, neutral, neither satisfied nor dissatisfied, they might wanna start zooming into um, a workout class or a yoga class. I mean, you get the idea. So my client has a wellness vision, one main goal, usually food related, and then two other, let's call them sub goals. And then they, they usually <laughs> wanna tackle everything on day one. So no, <laughs> I don't recommend that. Typically, I ask my clients to focus on their primary goal, build some success and some automaticity, and then I coach them around their um, supporting goals later. Also, I don't explain this to my clients, but, but what I often see happen is the food or their other main goal, the reason they sought coaching, is a keystone habit. What are keystone habits? Well, Charles Duhigg, author of The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business, defines a keystone habit as changes or habits that people introduce into their routines that unintentionally carry over into other aspects of their lives. Um, some other possible keystone habits are exercising regularly, practicing gratitude, sleep, sticking to a routine, journaling, and meditation. Think of a keystone habit as the pebble bloop, thrown into a pond that creates multiple ripples or additional benefits in your life. For my clients, getting their food in order is a keystone habit that, that automatically carries over to other areas of their lives. Take my previous examples. Is your sleep out of whack? Well, when you quit snacking after dinner, you won't go to bed on a full stomach and subsequently you sleep more soundly. 
uh, not moving or exercising as much as you want to, well, when you eat healthier food instead of processed food, you will automatically have more energy and you will invariably want to move more. My, my clients end up on hikes, bike rides, or on their yoga mat just because they feel like it. Healthful eating is a keystone habit. Furthermore, research shows that one habit established at a time is the most efficient way to do it. And, and I don't want my clients to quote unquote, should all over themselves. Sometimes my job as a coach is to hold them back from too much too soon. I want to set them up for success, not stumbles. That's, that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm always pointing out the positives. Wow. Like look at these clean food days. Notice how you're already going to bed earlier and yay, you made it outside for a walk. Woohoo! So when the primary goal feels established, maybe at the four or five week point, we, we set some other action steps for the, the other two, the other two goals, but they usually have, have already inadvertently moved in the right direction, given the primary goal was a keystone habit. At the three month mark, whether the client decides to continue with another three months of a daily coaching plan or graduate to the master's plan, that's a half time program, or move forward with without coaching, I ask them to repeat the domain satisfaction scale exercise without looking at the numbers from three months ago. They are surprised every time. Even if an area wasn't specifically addressed in a goal, it invariably increases on the scale. Hmm. Do they have a more positive outlook in general? Sure they do. When you feel successful in one area, do you feel more successful in others? Most likely, or maybe they've made real significant changes. Either way, Keystone habits ripple out into other parts of your life. And perhaps, perhaps this isn't that surprising given that we are holistic beings and changing one aspect of our lives touches other areas. I'm Liz Moser, a Mayo Clinic and National Board Certified Health and Wellness Coach. And um, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions um, about Keystone habits, about health and wellness or wellness coaching with me, please reach out via my website at lizmosercoaching.com. Bye for now and be well.